Welcome back, race fans, to the YouTube Cup. It's been a couple months, and that's been way too long. We're back to finish the first half of the season. This is the last race before the All-Star break. And for the very first time in a points race, we are at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Don't really know what to think. Based off of the All-Star race last year, the passing should be tough, but we'll have to wait and see. But for now, we have our first segment on the track. Let's get down to it now. All right, big segment already off the bat. In uh, row one on the inside in the 37 is your tied for your points lead, Jeff Purvis. And next to him in the 92, Jimmy Johnson. Row two, we got 23, Hutch Strickland. Starting next to him in the 31, making his YouTube Cup debut, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And in row three, we got Tough Luck, Matthew Nye on the 98 and Chef Squid in the 317 car. Let's do it. Four laps should be good. Let's do it. Ah, we got a caution out already for an El Reco. Broke away from the footage. Dale Jr. is out his first lap of YouTube Cup. He is out. All right, let's go back and see... What happened? Oh, just loses control of it. We saw that in qualifying, then almost <laughs> overcorrects it, and then Matthew Nile hits him from behind and prevents that from happening. We got the tow truck out. We got the emergency crew taking a look. He appears to be fine. We're going to get back to it. All right, based off the first segment, yes, passing looks like it's going to be tough. Jimmy Johnson gets the segment win. He's on to the main event, and that was big. Uh, Hutch Strickland on the restart passed teammate Jeff Purvis and stayed there. So Purvis is going to, if he could at least wound up second, would have got some more points towards the championship race. But, hey, man, it's every driver for himself. Sorry, it is what it is. That's the finishing order there. Now we're on to segment two. All right, segment two up. Some more heavy hitters in this one. In row one, we got Casey Kane in the five. Next to him in the 95, Bullet McQueen. Row two, the 44 car, Kyle Petty. Next to him in the 88, it's Captain Redneck Dick Murdoch. And in row three, tied for the points lead, unbelievably. In that Snickers car, the number eight, Dick Trickle. And next to him in the 94, the gold 94, it's Bill Elliott. Let's do it. All right, what a great final lap. Casey Kane led from start to finish in a smooth race. But look at Bullet McQueen coming on the inside on Casey Kane and taking over second place. And also Captain Redneck Dick Murdoch. That hurts. Uh, that'll hurt Dick Trickle there also in the points race. Casey Kane on to the main event. All right, here we go. Segment three. Oh, the, that 68 car. This is a huge unknown. And that 68 winged charger. We have Rusty Nubbins making his YouTube Cup debut. And next to him in the 6, Mark Martin. Row 2, Kurt Busch in the 41. And next to him in the 26, almost got the win at our last race at Darlington. The 26 is Party Blazer. And in row 3, in the Black Pontiac number 2, Rusty Wallace. And next to him, sitting 10th in points, unbelievably, somehow, in the Black Metro Rail car, we have Vinny. Oons, 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 nightlife. Let's do it. Yeah, that was a good competitive heat. Look at this. Nubbins, Martin was running good with him side by side. Last lap, Nubbins pulls away. And look at Kurt Busch coming up and getting the pass. Also, Rusty Wallace behind him passing Party Blazer. And that's your finishing order for segment three. Rusty Nubbins onto the main event. All right, this should be a rather interesting segment. In uh, row one, the 60 car, Tim Flock. Next to him in the 11, Mountain Dew, Mike James. Row two, we got the white 317 car, Odd Sox. And next to him, 18 car, Kyle Busch. And in row three, the one car, Jamie McMurray. And didn't qualify well. Needs to get back up there. The 81 car of Wendell Scott. Let's do it.
All right, caution out. Let's go back to see if we can figure out what happened. It looked like uh, Mike James had a good run, but then here comes uh, Odd Sox, the 317 white car. Almost knocks Flock over. 317 almost wrecks. Mike James, the whole field almost wrecked. It's crazy. All right, let's get back to it now. Second caution in this segment. First time, though, for an El Reco. Let's go back and see if we can figure out what happened. Running well. Coming off the turn. Loses it. Almost goes off the track completely. Gets bumped by Mike James. And then Kyle Busch pushes him a pretty good distance. Man, he's all right, though. Tough break for Odd Sox. All right, that'll leave one to go. Flock recovers, he'll stay in it. Doesn't get the heat win, though. All right, aggressive heat, but look at that. Between Kyle was giving Mike James a good push, and look at that. Flock just loses control and then gets drilled with uh, Kyle and then Wendell Scott giving him a good push, but recovers two. <laughs> stay in it, he'll be in the seconds race. Mike James will be in the main event. Congratulations. All right, segment five up should be a good one. Chicken George in the 79 is going to lead him out. Next to him in the 21, Buddy Baker. Row two making his YouTube Cup debut in the 12 car, Jeremy Mayfield. And next to him in the 80 car, Nick Devers. And in row three, also making his YouTube Cup debut in the 72 car is Manny Many. And next to him, the yellow Dale three. Let's do it. All right, caution the second time today for an El Reco. Caution's out, El Reco. Jeremy Mayfield is over. One to go. All right, let's take a look at the replay. Mayfield coming in, gets a good shove from Devers, and maybe too much. Winds up on his lid. Is what it is. We're going to restart this. Mayfield's fine. Car's going back to the shop for the next Kentucky Derby. We're ready. One to go. Let's do it. Oh, man. Oh, Chicken George finished with a pump from, with a bump from Devers. Yellow Dale is out. That was a huge wreck. 21 is still in it. Wow. Well, that was exciting. Let's go back and take a look. Looks like maybe some contact. I don't know if it was Devers or Chicken George sent Buddy Baker flying. Yellow three goes over, and look at that shot. Not only from Nick Devers gets the assist for his teammate, but it looked like Manny Manny Christian ended a yellow Dale three helped push Chicken George also to the win. That's crazy. Chicken George on to the main event. That's crazy. All right, final segment of the day. We got our pole setter and YouTube Cup debut, the number 78, Martin Truex Jr. Starting next to him, also making his YouTube Cup debut. And the 19 is Casey Atwood. Row two, the 44 of Cooter McGavin. And next to him, can't miss the 75 car of Joe Rutman. And in row three, came in second. Last race at Darlington, Kevin Harvick in the four. And next to him, the blue three, we got Dale Sr. Let's do it. Blue three over. Wow. All right, let's see what happened. The blue Dale three off the track. Martin Truex gets the win. Joe Rutman very competitive as well as Casey Atwood. Good heat there. Looks like uh, we got the emergency crews, but I believe the blue three is good. That's your finishing order for the final segment of the day. All right, we got two cars racing in the sixth race. It's all one lap shootouts. The 94 Bill Elliott on the inside, the outside, Vinny Oons 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 Nightlife. One lap shootout, let's do it. All 
All right, so Bill Elliott takes that one over Vinny Lightknife. And now we're moving to the fifth race. Going to be led down the track by number 26, Party Blazer. All right, Party Blazer takes that one. Dick Trickle and Wendell Scott are going to see a hit in the points this week, I do believe. Now we're moving on to the fourth race. Got Buddy Baker lined up with Cooter McGavin. It should be a good one. All right, Buddy Baker takes that one, and Captain Redneck Dick Murdoch sneaks past Cooter McGavin there for second. But now we're on to the thirds. Jeff Purvis needs this one. We've got Mark Martin in here also. We've got some of the proven drivers and some of the young ones. Let's do it. Ooh, that was close. Now that's about as exciting a one-lap shootout as you can find. Look at Bush pushes Martin. We're coming off the turn, Purvis in front of Martin, and look at this. Kyle Petty and Joe Rutman going with them. Very impressive. Rutman had a very good run for a car that's probably uh, under the radar. All right, now we're moving on to the seconds. We got Tim Flock and Bullet McQueen on the front row. Let's do it. All right, Flock takes that one, and McQueen fights him off for second. Good seconds race there, but that all pales in comparison because it's main event time. That's right, we got Mark, Martin Truex Jr., Chicken George on the front row. Second row is Rusty Nubbins and Casey Kane. And in the third row, Jimmy Johnson and Mike James. We are going to have a first-time winner here in the YouTube Cup. Let's find out who it is. Let's do it. Six laps this time. Main event in honor of Charlotte Motor Speedway being the longest race of the year for NASCAR. Not four laps in that main event, but six laps. Let's do it. Martin Truex Jr. with the win. All right, let's go back and look at the main event at half speed. Look at this, the, the theme right here, Martin Truex Jr. And this is going forward. He doesn't have a whole lot of straightaway downhill speed, but look at him off the curve. He can break away. That's something to note, maybe going into different tracks for this season. They need to get a little tangled up there. Chicken George had him beat till they get, and it just, Martin Truex can break away. So congratulations to Martin Truex Jr. Picks up the win. Casey Kane second. Chicken George third. Rusty Nubbins fourth. Mike James fifth. And Jimmy Johnson sixth. And there you're getting a look at the finishing order from Martin Truex Jr. 78 in the front row all the way back to Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 31 car. Some very strong performances today. We're starting to see some of the newer names up at the top. Chicken George, that third place, might be good enough to get him into the All-Star race. Same with Jimmy Johnson, sixth place. Uh, guys who might have taken a hit today, guys like Dick Trickle, not a great finish. Rusty Wallace, not a good finish. Cooter McGavin, not a good finish. And the Dales continue to struggle a little bit. The Yellow Dale, Blue Dale. But we'll have to see where the points play out when we add them up and we'll be posting that to the beginning of next week all that matters though right now is martin truex jr is in victory lane provided by dave acres very first time making his trip there might be more to come we'll see what happens we did have five people pick martin truex this for this race we had john Mueller, jake the gamer 657 bobby bobby meme Matthew Shute and Aang all pick Martin Truex Jr. in the 78 car. So congratulations to you guys and everybody else who played along. Keep playing along. Your guy gets a win. We'll give him a shout out. So with that in mind, we are now at the halfway point of the season. We will have the points come out next week and uh, announce who is going to be at the All-Star Race, which will still be at Charlotte Motor Speedway, just like in typical Monster Cup fashion. 
All right, fun race. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be having the NOS Racing Series at Charlotte coming up here in the very near future. Next week, maybe the week after that. Somewhere in the near future, though. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.